Uh, come to a cross-legged seated position, sitting on a block, if that's more comfortable for the lower back. Close your eyes. And turn on your finest quality of Ujjayi breath. Your intent for practice this evening is to feel the pose from the inside. Next inhale, sit up a little taller. Soften shoulders down the back. Soften any focus in your gaze. And switch on your internal gaze. And slow the breath down even more. Feel the different qualities of the inhale and the exhale as the air passes through your body. Even deeper with the breath. If you want to add an extra delicious layer to the intent this evening, feel the pose from the inside and love being inside your body. How much deeper can you breathe? How much more space can you create inside? What are all the different qualities and tastes of sensations that you can tune into in your practice tonight? Feel the pose from the inside and love being in your body. Noise, vibration, is an excellent way to enjoy being in your body and to love expressing yourself. Use that in your practice this evening. Come into knee pile with the left knee on top. <clears throat> so for knee pile, both sit bones either pressing down onto the floor. If that's not possible tonight, then sit on a block. <clears throat> Side bend, bring the left hand away from the left hip. If knee pile is really uncomfortable for you, then you can do this in a cross-legged seated position. Inhale, reach right arm up. Exhale, leaning over into side bend. Deep inhale through the nose, spread open right side ribs. Exhale, soften left shoulder away from the ear, and left ear towards left shoulder. Deep inhale, spread open back ribs, side ribs, front ribs. Exhale, wrap right shoulder towards the armpit. And feel for reaching through the right arm, spreading open fingers of right hand. Second arm position, neck release. Just move the right arm out to the side. Palm of the hand faces down, lower the hand so it's 20 centimeters off the floor. Deep inhale, press down through sit bones to lift the top of the chest. 
Exhale, reach right arm away from right side of neck. Soften left ear towards left shoulder. And close your eyes and track what feels really good inside this pose. Keeping the neck relaxed, reach through the right arm, bring the torso up, left hand to the side of the head, relax the neck, cradle the head, bring the head upright again. Unlocking the shoulders, bring the elbows up, shoulder distance apart at shoulder height and activate your hands. Shoulder distance apart and shoulder height, Duvan. Yeah, a bit closer together, that's it. All right, next inhale, lift up out of lower back, lift the ribs. Exhale, shoulders down the back, slide upper arms forward, then squeeze elbows and upper arms towards each other. Okay. Relax jaw, then lift the chin to lengthen and soften the back of the neck. Deep inhale into upper back. Exhale, squeeze elbows and upper arms and activate hands, spreading open fingers. Then relax the arms down. Change the cross of the legs. Knee pile on the other side. If you were in a cross-legged seated position, then change the cross of your legs. Okay. Right fingertips away from right hip. Inhale, reach left arm up. Exhale, leaning over into side bend. Keep left sit bone pressing firmly into the floor. And trace the sensations from the left sit bone. Moving up over left hip. This opening along the left side of the torso. Okay, take your awareness to the shoulder. Wrap the shoulder towards the armpit. Moving shoulder blade down the back away from the ear. Feel that shoulder area light up. Okay, now trace the sensations through the left arm. Straighten the left arm. Feel that line of energy in the arm. And activate left hand, spreading open fingers. What does it feel like now to have that connection between the Left sit bone pressing down to the fingernails of your left hand. Second arm position, neck release. Left arm out to the side, palm faces down 20 centimeters off the floor. Left hand is active, fingers spreading. Close the eyes, soften jaw. Now send your deepest, smoothest, most luxurious, velvety breath through the sensations of the left side of the neck. With a long, slow exhale, feel for a letting go in the neck. Okay. 
reach through the left arm, bring the torso up, right hand to the side of the head. Use the whole of your hand to touch your beautiful face, bring the head upright again. Uh, second, unlocking the shoulders. So stay in knee pile. Elbows up, shoulder distance apart, shoulder height. Make sure they actually are shoulder height. Okay, for this one, separate the forearms to about 10 o'clock and two o'clock on the clock face. Deep inhale into upper back, spread open back ribs. Exhale, shoulders down, slide upper arms forward and feel for that same squeeze of elbows and upper arms. And relax eyebrows, jaw, tongue. Another deep inhale into upper back. And even more squeeze with the upper arms and the elbows. Activate hands, spread open fingers. And then lower hands down. Hmm. Abdominals, come to lie back. First abdominal exercise this evening. Elbow to knee with thigh traction. Clasp fingers, interlock fingers at the base of the skull. Elbows up towards the sky. Okay, feet come up off the floor, knees are bent at 90 degrees. Inhale, curl head and shoulders up off the floor. Hold the breath, lower back down, tailbone up. Exhale, elbows towards the left thigh and send the right leg straight up towards the sky, reaching up with the heel, toes flex towards the shin. Take a deep inhale into lower back and place your right hand on top of the right thigh, fingers facing up the thigh towards the knee. Exhale, curl tailbone up, press your hand into your thigh, your thigh into your hand, and traction the thigh up away from the hip. Pull belly down. Inhale, hands behind the head, legs back to center. Hold the breath. Lower back down, tailbone curls up. Exhale, elbows towards right thigh. Left heel reaches up towards the sky. Inhale into lower back, place left hand on left thigh. Exhale, curl tailbone up, traction thigh up away from the hip, pull belly down. Inhale, slowly, deeply back to center. Hold the breath, lower back down, tailbone up. Exhale, elbows towards left thigh, right leg reaching up through the heel. Inhale into lower back, place right hand on right thigh. Exhale, curl tailbone up, Press thigh into hand, hand into thigh, and pull belly down. Inhale, come back to center. Hold breath, head and shoulders stay up off the floor. Lower back down, tailbone up. Exhale, elbows towards right thigh. Left leg reaches up. Get the right shoulder blade up off the floor as well. Good. Inhale, left hand onto left thigh. Exhale, curl tailbone up and traction the thigh up away from the hip. Relax your jaw. Inhale, slowly back to center. Hold the breath. Press lower back down, curl tailbone up. Exhale, elbows towards left thigh, reaching up through the right heel. Inhale into lower back and place right hand on right thigh. Exhale, curl tailbone up and press the thigh with your hand. Relax your jaw and wrap your left shoulder towards the armpit. Pull belly down. Inhale, slowly back to center. Shoulder blades up off the floor. Hold the breath. Lower back down. Tailbone curls up. Exhale, elbows towards right thigh, left leg extends up, flex the toes back towards your shin. 
Inhale into lower back. Place your left hand on the left thigh. Exhale, curl tailbone up. Traction thigh away from the hip. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, lower all the way down. Head, shoulders, feet. Mm. Next abdominals is star spiral pulse. Um, what I want you guys to focus on for star spiral pulse is the length and depth of your inhale. At the moment in class, the inhales and the abdominals is really shallow because there's this kind of illusion that if we breathe shallow and move quickly, then it'll make the abdominal exercise easier. Truth is, you just don't get the benefits out of the pose. The deeper and longer you breathe, the more you're going to feel, the more you're going to strengthen the abdominals, okay? Clasp hands together behind the head, feet up off the floor. Ready? Inhale, curl head and shoulders up off the floor. Everyone lower down. <laughs> okay. So I am going to give the second cue, which will be the kind of your goal for like the length of the inhale. Okay. So feet up off the floor, hands behind the head. Inhale, curl head and shoulders up off the floor. Hold the breath. Press lower back down, curl tailbone up. Exhale, elbows towards left thigh, right leg straight up towards the sky. Inhale into lower back and rotate the whole of the right leg in towards the center. Exhale, pulse up from the hip three times, spiraling the leg as you pulse. One, two, three. Inhale, back to center, hands behind the head. Lower back down, tailbone up. Exhale, elbows towards right thigh, left leg extends up. Inhale into lower back, rotate left leg in. Exhale, spiral the leg up three times, starting the pulse from the hip. Inhale, slowly back to center. Hold breath, lower back down, tailbone up. Exhale, elbows towards left thigh, right leg reaches up. Your deepest inhale yet. Exhale, spiral and pulse, right leg up. Inhale, slowly back to center. Hold breath. Lower back down, tailbone up. Exhale, elbows towards right thigh, left leg extends up. Inhale into lower back. Exhale, spiral and pulse. One, two, three. Inhale, come on back to center. Exhale, lower head, shoulders, feet to the floor. Much better. Yeah. Like, put your leg up. So you're rotating in towards the center here. So it's. Yeah. Yeah. Feel the difference? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> A little bit, yeah, just a little. It's not a big movement, yeah. Okay, gate opener. Uh, you're gonna need to stagger yourselves, um, so, cause this one, we open the legs wide open. So half of you move forwards, half of you stay where you are. Okay. All right. Clasp hands together behind the head again. You will need your block for this one. Does everyone have a block? Good. Place your block between your thighs and extend legs straight up towards the sky. <clears throat> hands behind the head, head on the floor for this first breath. Deep inhale. <laughs> Maria, don't scare the people that haven't done gate opener before. Head down for this first breath. Deep inhale into lower back. Hands behind the head in. Hold the breath. Squeeze the block between the thighs. 
Exhale, curl head and shoulders up off the floor. Place your left hand on the block and hold it against your pelvis lightly. Inhale, straddle legs wide open. Exhale, curl pubic bone up towards the block. Reach out through the balls of your feet. Spread the toes. Inhale, deeply, slowly, legs back to center, hands behind the head, lower head to the floor, and hold that breath in. Squeeze block between the thighs. Exhale, curl head and shoulders up off the floor. Right hand onto the block. Inhale, straddle legs wide open. Exhale, curl pubic bone into the block. Straighten the legs as much as you can. Spread the toes. Pull belly down. Inhale, legs back to center. Head, hands to the floor. Hold the breath. Squeeze block between the thighs. Exhale, head and shoulders up off the floor. Left hand onto the block. Inhale, slowly straddle legs wide open. It's curious how that's always the shallowest inhale. Exhale, curl tailbone in towards the block. Reach out through the balls of the feet and spread the toes. Pull belly down. Big inhale, legs back to center, head, hands to the floor, hold the breath. Squeeze block between the thighs, head down, Marin. Exhale, curl head and shoulders up off the floor. Whatever hand, I can't remember. Place a hand on the block. Inhale, straddle legs wide open. Exhale, curl pubic bone in towards the block, reach out through the balls of the feet, relax your jaw. Last one. Inhale, legs back to center, head to the floor, hold the breath. Squeeze, block between the thighs. Exhale, curl head and shoulders up off the floor. The other hand onto the block, hold it there. Deep, slow, steady, inhale, spread open your legs. Exhale, curl pubic bone towards the block. Reach out through balls of the feet. Spread the toes. Relax jaw. Inhale, legs back to center. Head, hands to the floor. Feet to the floor. Love being in your body through abdominals. Grab your block, place it between your thighs again for bridge. Feet flat on the floor, hip distance apart. Walk the heels back so you can touch your fingertips. Arms by your side, palms facing up. On your next exhale, lift the hips with active feet. So coming into bridge after abdominals, the energy is really starting to move around the body. So in bridge, slow down the inhale, slow down the exhale. Allow your body time and space to circulate the energy around the body. Then close the eyes. What does bridge feel like from the inside? Where needs strength and activation? The feet. Gently squeezing the block between the thighs, lengthening tailbone forwards. Where inside are you creating space and openness? brightness with the breath. Maybe hips, chest, jaw.
and slowly lower down. Upper back, middle back, lower back. Place the block to one side, roll over onto your right, and come to face into the middle on hands and knees, starting with a classic dolphin with palms facing down. If you're new to dolphin, I will talk you through it. If you know dolphin, come on into it. If you want to add leg raises, then go ahead. For dolphin, lower onto elbows. To measure the distance, wrap fingers around the middle of the biceps. Forearms parallel, palms face down. Then relax the back of the neck. Deep inhale into upper back. Exhale, straighten the legs, send hips skywards. Keep the elbows on the floor for, for this one. Yeah. Tell me your name again. Okay. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> yeah, okay. Relax the back of the neck. Feel that same squeeze in the elbows and the upper arms as you did in unlocking the shoulders that we did at the start of class. And if it helps to feel the pose from the inside, close the eyes. So feeling where you need strength and activation from the inside. Lower both knees down. Come to a kneeling position. So either sitting on your heels or if that's uncomfortable for any reason, then you can sit on a, on a block between the, between the feet. Shoulder shrugs. Okay. Arms resting down by your side. Deep inhale into upper back. Hold the breath in. Shoulders go up towards the ears, back. Squeeze shoulder blades together. Exhale, shoulders down the back. Inhale, broaden back ribs. Exhale, squeeze mid shoulder blades together and drag shoulders down. Twist and keep the chin up, release the throat, that's it. Inhale, spread open back ribs. Exhale, squeeze bottom tips of shoulders, palms face up, elbows squeeze in, pull shoulders down the back. Relax the arms, the jaw, the shoulders. Inhale into back of heart in between shoulder blades. Hold the breath in, shoulders up, back, squeeze, exhale, massage your shoulder blades down the back. Inhale, broaden back ribs. Exhale, squeeze, mid shoulders together, drag down back. Last one, inhale into back of heart. Exhale, squeeze, bottom tips of shoulders, palms face up, elbows squeeze in, shoulders down. Okay. Dolphin, again, this time option for palms facing up. So measure the distance between the elbows again. Forearms parallel, then turn the hands so thumbs rotate out and down, palms facing up towards the sky. Okay, relax the head, curl toes under. Deep inhale into upper back. Exhale, straighten the legs, sending ribs, hips skywards away from shoulders. Once you're up, rotate the thumbs out and down. Keeping the hands active. Elbows, shoulders squeezing, and notice the difference in your body compared to the last dolphin with palms facing down. Aaron, keep both feet on the floor for this one. Klaus, spread open your fingers. 
Okay, gently lower knees down. Come back to a kneeling position, bird wing arms. This one, palms face up, elbows, upper arm, hugged against the side of the body. Inhale, expand ribs. Exhale, arms rotate open, shoulders roll back. Inhale, forearms back to center. Exhale, arms rotate back. Do a few more of these. Close your eyes. Use the entire length of your inhale and your exhale to slow down the movement and feel what is happening inside your body. Finish the round that you're on. Come on up to standing. Sun salutations with a few variations this evening. Exhale, bring hands together in heart press center. Inhale, reach arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Lunge, left foot back, left knee down. Inhale, reach arms up. Exhale, hands down. Step back to plank. Lower through modified chaturanga. That's knees, chest, chin. Low cobra, inhale. Tops of the feet, press into the floor. Downward facing dog, exhale. Lunge, left foot forwards, right knee down. Inhale, arms up, active hands. Exhale, hands down, step forwards, fold. Inhale, slowly come on up. Exhale, hands to heart press center. <coughs> Inhale to chair. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale to flat back. Hands press into the floor, either step or float back to plank through low cobra or upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Twisting lunge, inhale, step the left foot forwards between the hands, lower the right knee down. Inhale, reach right arm up. Exhale, twist, right elbow to outside of left thigh, fist with the right hand, left hand on top. Hands to the floor. Step back to plank. Go through a half salutation. Meeting back in downward facing dog. Other side. Right foot forwards. Left knee down. Inhale. Reach left arm up. Exhale. Twist. Soften the neck, left ear towards left shoulder.
hands to the floor, step back to plank. Lower through modified or full chaturanga to a low cobra or upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Eyes forward, either step or float your feet lightly between the hands and forward fold. Inhale, lengthen spine forwards to flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale to chair with active feet and active hands. Exhale all the way up to standing. Inhale to chair. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, scoop chest forwards, flat back. Press hands firmly into the floor and step or float back to plank. Through modified chaturanga or full chaturanga to low cobra or upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Easy twisting lunge. Inhale, step the left foot forwards between the hands. Okay, right knee down. Okay, for this one, right hand to the floor, to the inside of the front foot. Inhale, the left arm out to the side and up towards the sky. Okay. Deep inhale, press down through the whole of the left foot, especially the inside edge. Exhale, relax the neck, right ear towards right shoulder. Let the neck go. Forget about what is up on the ceiling. Close the eyes, feel what is happening inside. Okay, let the chin go, chin go, chin go. That's it. And inhale, activate left hand. Reach up and back through left arm and open across the chest. Making any delicious noises that help you Feel what is happening inside. Okay. Hands down. Just push back to downward facing dog. Other side. Right foot forwards. Left knee down. Easy twisting lunge. Left hand to the floor this time. And right arm up towards the sky. Everyone relax the neck. How much more space can you create in this twist, in this chest opener? How much more sensation can you connect to through your attention and your breath? How much more exhilaration can you bring into your experience of the pose? Hands to the floor. Push back to downward facing dog. Twisting lunge, variation. Inhale, step the left foot forwards between the hands. Lower the right knee down. Okay. okay. Inhale, reach arms up. Then on the exhale, twist to the left, opening the arms with palms facing up. Next inhale, feel for lifting ribs and lengthening both sides of torso. Exhale, soften shoulders down the back. Hands down. Push back to downward facing dog. Other side, inhale, step right foot forward between the hands, lower left knee down. If you need to, pat up the back knee by folding the mat over from the side. Inhale, reach arms up. You wanna make sure your hips are over your back knee for this one and your front knee is over your uh, front ankle. So both knees bend at 90 degrees. 
Deep inhale, telescope ribs. Exhale, opening to the right. Palms face up, arms parallel to the floor. Press down through the inside of your foot, Dennis. Hands to the floor, push back to downward facing dog. Twisting warrior, inhale, step the left foot forwards between the hands. Stay on the ball of the back foot with the back heel lifted. Bring the right elbow to the outside of the left thigh. Fist with the right hand, left hand on top. Hands to the floor, push back to down dog. Other side, inhale, step right foot forwards. Left elbow to outside of right thigh. Fist with the left hand, right hand presses on top. Stacking, right elbow on top of the left. Feel the pose from the inside. Hands to the floor. Step back to downward facing dog. Eyes forward, either step or float the feet between the hands and forward folds. Inhale, lengthen spine forwards to flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale to chair. Exhale, come on all the way up to standing. Grab a sip of water if you need a sip of water now. B-series with two pose vignettes this evening. Come to the top of the mat. Inhale, reach arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, scoop chest forwards, flat back. Press the floor away with your active hands as you step or float back to plank through modified or full chaturanga to low cobra or up dog, and back to downward facing dog. Reverse warrior, inhale, step left foot forwards between the hands. Come on up, warrior two. Inhale, lengthen right arm skywards. Exhale, placing right hand either above or below the right knee. Left arm reaching over left ear. Yeah. Breathe. Feel. Okay. Wrap this shoulder. Just activate that hand and relax this neck. Okay. Deep inhale in here. <sighs> Ex
extended warrior variation. Inhale, bring the torso up and rest your left forearm on left thigh. Palm facing up. Right hand slides around the lower back, grabs hold of inner thigh. If you can't reach the inner thigh, then grab hold of your shirt or your shorts. Okay, next inhale, roll right shoulder up and back. Exhale, relax the neck and slide right shoulder blade down the back away from the ear. Hands to the floor. Push back to downward facing dog. Other side, inhale, right foot forwards between the hands. Warrior two legs. Arms start parallel to the floor. Reverse warrior. Inhale, reach left arm up. Exhale, take it back, left hand above or below the left knee. Okay. Watch this knee. Jeffrey, keep that bend in the front knee and the front knee tracking over the center of the front foot. That's it, yeah. In through the nose, out through the nose. Extended warrior variation. Right forearm on right thigh, palm faces up. Left arm around the lower back, grab hold of inner thigh or any part of clothing. Okay. And roll the ribs up towards the sky. Soften right ear towards right shoulder. If you have the balance, close the eyes. Where in your body needs breath right now? And what is the quality of your breath right now? There is a certain exhilaration that comes from getting out of our heads and into our bodies. Love that feeling. Hands to the floor. Push back to downward facing dog. Crow pose, either jumping forwards into crow. If you're new to crow, come into a squat with the knees out wide. Hands press into the floor about shoulder distance apart. Get the knees right up into the armpits as high as you can. And for crow, bringing the weight forwards into the hands, hugging upper arms with the knees. See what it feels like to bring one foot off the ground, then the other foot. Maybe taking little hops. Couple more breaths. Chance to give it one more try. Tomorrow. If you're in crow, take a deep inhale. On the exhale, send the legs to the back of the mat. Land in plank. Everyone meet in plank. Lower through modified or full chaturanga. Low cobra or upward facing dog. Back to downward facing dog. Lizard, 
Inhale, step the left foot forwards between the hands. A few stages to lizard. Lower the back knee down. Top of the foot presses into the floor. Stage one is just to keep both hands to the inside of the front foot. Softening hips forwards and down. Stage two is to lower elbows and forearms onto your block. Bringing the chest a little lower. Stage three, elbows, forearms, all the way to the floor, palms pressing down. Mm. Choose the stage that feels best inside your body this evening. Feeling the pose from the inside also means tapping into those feelings of discomfort. Keep this knee in as close as you can. Pigeon. So walk the left foot across. Left knee stays to the outside of the mat. And lower forwards. Bringing the chest down over the front shin. Slowly push back to downward facing dog. Other side, right foot forwards, quietly between the hands. Lizard, lower the left knee down. Choose which stage of lizard is going to feel the most magnificent in your body tonight. Stay active in the front foot. Keep pressing right foot into the floor, especially inside edge, and keep right knee hugging in towards the side of the body. Deep feeling breath into wherever you are feeling the sensations the most right now. and slow the breath down even more. If there is a noise that wants to come out and to be released, let it out. Pigeon.
close your eyes in pigeon and come to a place of complete stillness. Focusing all of your attention on the inhale. Focusing all of your attention on the exhale. Feeling the pose from the inside one breath at a time. In through the nose, out through the nose. Ujjayi breath. Slowly push back to downward facing dog. Scissors. Mm. For scissors, bringing the left knee to the left upper arm, and then bending the elbows. So bringing right hip onto Right elbow, back leg lifts up, left leg extends forward. One option, if you want to play with crow again, then play with crow, practice crow. Okay, if you're doing scissors, do a few breaths on each side. Okay. Do crow. Yeah, yeah, now. And finish in the next couple of breaths. Push back to downward facing dog. Twisting lunge variation. Standing this time. So inhale, step the left foot forwards between the hands. Come on up to a high lunge. Okay. Arms lifted. Okay. So keep the, keep the hips facing forwards. Back knee can be slightly bent with, with right sit bone and tailbone lengthening down. Okay, deep inhale, expand ribs. On the exhale, twisting to the left, opening the arms, palms face up. Keep the hips where they are. So left hip pulling back, right hip rotating forwards, hip square. Next inhale, spread open side ribs and back ribs. Bottom of the exhale, pull belly in towards lower spine. And hands down, back knee down. Twisting pigeon towards the foot, okay? For this one, different setup to classic pigeon. Come all the way over onto your left hip and the outside of the left thigh. And you can have your thigh going along the outside edge of the mat. Your left foot moves forward, so the left leg is bent at 90 degrees. So your left shin parallel to the top of the mat. 
So Eric, if you move your left foot forward, that's it, yeah. Right leg can be straight-ish or a little bit bent. Okay, first stage, moving sternum in the center of the chest towards the foot. So hold on to the left foot with both hands. And keeping the torso lifted off the thigh at all times. Okay, so Peach, lift the torso up. Yeah, so just moving the sternum towards the chest, so without, without leaning down. Yeah. Okay. Second stage, bring the sternum a little closer. Wrap forearms around the sole of the foot. The forearms don't reach. Stay holding on with your hands and enjoy that. Slava, this thigh um, parallel to the edge of the mat, this knee over here, so this knee that way, yes, okay, this foot forwards, okay, and move from here, that knee further back, yeah, okay, now move into it, yeah, okay, next stage, bring the left elbow into the sole of the foot, Make a fist with the left hand, place the right hand on top. If the elbow is nowhere near your foot right now, then stay in an expression of the pose that feels delicious. Final stage, sleeping pigeon, bringing the left shoulder underneath the left knee, resting head on the floor in front of the left shin. Let everything go. Let your left hip be heavy, your left thigh be heavy. Feel the pose from the inside. Slowly come on out of twisting pigeon towards the foot. Make your way back to downward facing dog. Inhale, step the right foot forwards for twisting lunge variation with the back knee lifted. Arms up towards the sky, active hands. Inhale, expand ribs. Exhale, twisting to the right. Palms face up towards the sky. Arms parallel to the floor. Twisting pigeon towards the foot. Okay. So coming onto the outside of your right thigh this time. Right hip to the floor. Right thigh along the outside edge of the mat. Move the right foot forward so right shin parallel to the top of the mat. Okay. Go through all the stages of twisting pigeon in your own breath. 
taking time to feel when your body is ready to go deeper. It'll give you a clear sign. Slowing down the inhale to create space. And slowing down the exhale so you can use the body's natural rate of release to move deeper. torso off the thigh. So we're moving the sternum towards this foot. Yeah. So wrap the hands around the foot and then keep this lifted off the thigh here. Okay. And if it reaches, you're bringing this elbow into the, against here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's it. few more breaths, so if you want to move into sleeping pigeon with the shoulder underneath the knee, now is the time. And for these last few breaths, Breathe in a way that cultivates the sensations of loving being in your body, loving being in sensation. Push back to downward facing dog. And lower knees down. Okay. Options for apex pose this evening is elephant trunk into Ashtavakrasana. Uh, scissors to give scissors another go. Crow, if you want to play with crow again. Elephant trunk into Ashtavakrasana looks like this. So extend the right leg forwards. Left knee as high up the left arm as you can. Hands either side of the hips. Straighten the arms and lift the hips. Right leg up off the floor. One foot there. And then back okay if you want to give that a go I'll talk you through it if you want to go ahead and do uh, scissors or crow then have fun and 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 play with it you know okay so for elephant trunk there's lots of different stages to this so there's, there's something that everyone can do in this okay so right leg forwards and then get left leg as high up the arm as you can. Okay, hands either side of the hips. Okay, spread open the hand bones. Press the floor away with your hands. 
straighten the arms and lift the hips. Okay, next stage. Right foot up off the floor, extending right leg. Right foot over left. Okay, then the slide. Okay, once you've had a go on that side, change sides, do the other side. Okay, finish up in the next couple of breaths. And come to lie down on your back. So have the feet facing into the center of the room. And start with back release pose. So feet flat on the floor with knees bent. Place your left foot over your right thigh and clasp hands together either underneath your right thigh or if you can reach round the front of your right shin back of the head stays on the floor hug right knee in towards the chest And close your eyes. Close your eyes and feel what is happening right now inside your body. As you feel and connect to what is happening in your body right now, do it from a place of love, of compassion. Let's change sides. Deep, slow, steady breaths. Happy baby. Close the eyes, soften the jaw, relax the tongue.
lie back, get very, very comfortable, Shavasana. Soften the breath.
Time to come back. Start to deepen your breath. Wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes. Reach your arms back behind your head. Take a full body stretch. Hug both knees in towards your chest. <clears throat> and lightly roll over onto your right hand side. Slowly make your way up to a seated position. Hands together in heart press center. Close the eyes. I'll finish the practice with three arms. Inhale. Oh.
thumbs to third eye center. Together we say, Namaste. Namaste.